Hello, uh, so we will continue our discussion on cloud computing uh, rather we will continue our discussion on uh, fog computing. So, what we have seen uh, in the in our uh, previous uh, lecture or previous discussion on fog that uh, there is a need of, uh, of several application to, to instead of pushing all the data services and applications to the to the cloud instead whether you can do at a much lower level right there is there is some of the requirements are uh, uh, due to the bandwidth uh, limitations like uh, or uh, reducing the bandwidth overload and in uh, some of the things are real time applications right you need to do some real time applications which uh, instead of pushing everything to the cloud getting the feedback process etc to end of the edge of the network may take uh, much time right so in order to handle this uh, we need to need to push or there is a requirement of pushing some of these functionalities to the edge of the network or at intermediate level right and also we have seen that not all not all cases we require everything to be pushed into cloud right like uh, specially applications like connected vehicles or uh, um, your um, uh, that street light or traffic light uh, management where uh, it is more localized the phenomena is localized right so it is it is more more deal with the uh, objects which are in nearby uh, in nearby spaces so it is it is no it, it, there is uh, not much requirement pushing all the data to the things again uh, with the with the huge prolification of sensors and for that matter iot's uh, there is a huge volume of data generated uh, where instead of sending the raw data to the cloud for processing the, we can do a pre processing or what we say uh, ag some sort of a aggregation of the information and push it to the cloud for further processing so uh, overall uh, in looking all those things there is a need to bring this uh, data services application little down from the cloud what we say fogging or fog computing in some in some cases also people say as a uh, edge computing or having a distributed phenomena of the things there are few characteristics which we have looked into uh, of cloud which need to be served here also like scalability uh, infinite uh, uh, scaling or sc uh, scaling pay as you go model or metered services and uh, that like uh, making this infrastructure free type of situation of the things and several other characteristics or cloud provide what was the major motivation of moving towards cloud need to be supported at by the fog also right so that is that is the need of the things and it is not like that that all all a, a given a particular application a everything should be put on the edge of the things there may be uh, we can do a partially at the at the cloud end and partially at the uh, at intermediate or edge of the network right so this will bring different sort of challenges what we will try to look at uh, in uh, today's talk that what are the different type of things what are the uh, fog equipment fog devices are not so uh, resource rich right like uh, they are uh, devices like intermediate routers or at times the sensing devices or the sync of that particular uh, sensor deployment sync node of the process deployment which is not as resourceful at the cloud not uh, nowhere as resourceful at the at the back end high resource cloud so there is a resource management comes in a big way uh, of success of this type of uh, um, phenomena right so we'll talk about for computing uh, so what we what we see that uh, cloud computing has been able to help in realizing uh, the potential of iot devices or iot's by providing scalable scalability resource provisioning as well as providing data intelligence from the large amount of data. So, one is the scalability uh, resource provisioning and the other end it, it can basically do some sort of a knowledge mining from the data right making data uh, to uh, 
from data to knowledge transformation sort of things right that is at the back end we have machine learning and other type of uh, applic uh, algorithms which can run. But the cloud has few limitations like right? specifically in the context of real time latency right? response required in seconds or milliseconds or microseconds sensitive applications like right? in case of a say application uh, accident say if, if there is a collision of the car and if there is this this cars are intelligent car uh, what we say that uh, having which are vanet enable regular ad hoc network or sort of things if we need to push this cloud uh, kind of this collision related information to the cloud get it uh, refined and find out the location etc inform the nearby cloud that may be a by that time there may be uh, few more or many more application a uh, accident could have happened so it could have been done in a very localized manner where uh, instead of go taking it to the, the cloud and doing the processing i could have done at the localized manner if possible so this sort of real time applications uh, where this accident management or some other type of applications what we see that that can be a uh, possible phenomenon of doing that so fog computing has been coined in order to serve real time latency sensitive applications faster right it has been coined to serve real time faster fog computing leverages the local knowledge of the data that is available uh, to the fog and draws insights from the data by providing faster applications so first of all is a order to serve real time latency uh, or real time applications or which are time sensitive applications and also it has it leverages the local knowledge of the data more at the local level available to the node and draws insight from the data by uh, faster response right so that is that exactly it tries to look at that uh, fog sort of environment now this picture uh, we have seen in the earlier uh, our discussion on fog like we have on end cloud one in these uh, sensors and mobile devices and other uh, what we say contributing to uh, who are contributing to the data intermediate uh, devices uh, can constitute this fog right so this is uh, this may not be specially installed for that right so we are having say routers or uh, gateways some systems and other devices which are basically communicating to the um, which are basically used for intermediate communication of the sense data to the cloud right so transmitting they are more as a uh, some sort of a working as a store and forward from there why whether we can do uh, store process forward and take some call locally right some of the things need to be forwarded at the other end for higher level of things or maybe aggregation over a over a larger uh, geographical space when different sensors coming from the things nevertheless we can have a localized phenomena uh, what we look at at the uh, using the data at the local level so what we see that more computing power more storage is at the end end so uh, the applications which are more computing intensive can be pushed to the other end whereas more interactive or more responsive can be at the uh, lower end so these are the two side of the things so intermediate we have fog or even in some cases this inter front end devices can do some some sort of a sort of calculation and aggregate the data and send to the things so if you look at uh, if we try to compare or con compare and contrast between cloud and fog uh, as we have discussed earlier uh, um, discuss in earlier lecture that these are not uh, competitive means in the sense they are not replacing one by another so what it is trying to do it is more of a in a companion mode right some of the things which can be done better in in cloud and can should be done there and fog and they should do in a proper orchestration of the things a, a much requirement of the requ orchestration so if you look at if we try to look at requirement of cloud and fog so if we say latency so uh, is higher in cloud or lower in fog right so latency is a higher delay jitter definitely if that latency higher usually it is high and it is very low in the fog or low in the fog location of server nodes within internet right 
whereas at the edge of the local network right so where the server nodes are located in case of a cloud it is in the in the internet right you really don't know that where the services are given you talk about uh, amazon or uh, google or microsoft or ibm or anything source force or anything so what we do we basically connect through through their uh, portal or uh, link and we really uh, as the end user don't know that where your application is being done huh. it is it is uh, not like that that you cannot know you can know but nevertheless they do on their resource management and provisioning and type of thing so we so that is what we say in the internet whereas uh, if you look at that fog type of scenario so it is more on the edge in the local network like if i am doing say aggregation of the temperature sensing and taking a decision of this particular room with which is having say say 10 odd sensors then what i am doing is basically locally and i know that the server in this particular room is working for that things or the server which is serving for this particular room is working on the things right at times that is useful because uh, if you see uh, some congestion or some uh, problem in the things you can address the things at times there are other challenges it may be a security loophole also because you know if the temperature is being sensed by the servers and it is sending rep uh, things and if this particular lab or room is housing important other systems then i can basically attack that server and say that uh, do some malfunctioning right even the temperature or uh, means environmental sensing is giving some alert i say that everything is going on fine and attack type of things so there are downfall and type of things uh, required and secondly it need to be resourceful to cater to the type of applications uh, which i am trying to run distance between client and the server usually in case of cloud uh, cloud computing is multi hop you are using this standard networking to go to the thing usually in case of a cloud it is a one hop in case of a fog it is a one hop right mm, so they are at a um, one hop distance from the uh, from the client to the server right security uh, in case of a cloud computing one one argue that it is undefined undefined in the sense that as the user end i don't have much control over the things right so it is in that sense it is undefined whereas here it can be defined like you you have a local things you may have some control over the thing so you user may have some control over this uh, particular devices or the organization can have control over the devices and can try to ensure some security like if i say the traffic light so the of a particular city then the traffic light management in that server of a particular zone is under the traffic uh, authority of that city right so they have a control had it been on the totally on the cloud so you don't know that what the data or applications are doing that is that is based on that uh, service provider attack on data uh, in router right so in the in route data whether the attack in case of cloud if there are multiple hops so there is a chance of much become uh, getting much compromised where in case of a fog if it is a single hop then uh, as it is a single hop uh, then uh, the getting compromised things are um, less right so you have a uh, little more control over the thing uh, location awareness in case of a cloud computing is minimal whereas edge fog computing is location aware it is primarily what we are doing is location aware type of things so there are other uh, things like geographical distribution uh, in case of a cloud it is more of a centralized feeling so it is having a logically centralized things in case of a fog it is distributed right number of server nodes uh, in case of cloud are few because that is uh, that is at the cloud end and usually servers are extremely resourceful the number of nodes required for that publications or type of things are very few in case of a fog as it is a edge as you go down the hierarchy that the number of uh, nodes increases uh, much more so they are the very large number of urban nodes uh, support for mobility in case of a cloud is limited 
uh, right uh, if you move from one or mobile application that it need to be switched etc to the different uh, different intermediate devices now it is carried by say one path once you move to the other path whereas in case of a fog uh, some sort of support is there in the mobility videos because it takes a local decision of the things right it knows a priori things are uh, that is where under which control and need to be transferred at a much lower level real time applications uh, real time interactions uh, do supported by cloud and of course it is supported by fog that is one of the major motivation to move towards uh, fog computing uh, scenarios type of last mile connectivity is usually least line right so or uh, cable line in case of a in case of cloud right whereas in case of a fog is usually wireless right that there is no uh, hard and fast type of things but these are uh, you usual standard uh, processes in reality right so there are uh, pros and cons uh, it may so happen that uh, as we are discussing fog so it is little bit uh, more supportive towards the fog why it is there and uh, but nevertheless though both has importance and proper uh, synchronization or orchestration between this uh, fog and cloud uh, should make the whole thing a reality so there are uh, several use cases right or several scenarios where fog that this fog will be very much uh, applicable one is that emergency evacuation system uh, for any catastrophe or disaster real time information about currently affected areas of buildings and exit route planning etc so if it is a large building with several route paths for exit uh, if there is a some catastrophe like fire or earthquake or something then the default paths may be getting locked right or uh, may not be uh, routable so what you need to do you need to do a based on that availability of the uh, exit at every level or every uh individual rooms etc we need to path the uh, plan the path so it need to have it need, need to be dynamically replanned or rerouted and where uh, maybe some local decision is much more helpful natural disasters management so real time notification about landslide flash flood to potentially affected area so that is one uh, requirement so when we are having national disaster management so real time Uh, notification things are there which are uh, sometimes uh, pretty localized or a particular region of interest where the things are going on uh, and may be uh, useful way if we have a this location aware uh, information at a fog level so large sensor deployments generate a lot of data which can be pre processed summarized and then to send to the uh, cloud to reduce congestion in the intermediate network so that is another uh, uh, requirement of fog it may not be natural disasters management or natural uh, disasters or hazard but in other sense what we have that uh, huge deployment of sensors that uh, can have produce lot of data and it takes if you send the all the raw data to the cloud it takes a a lot of uh, bandwidth and lead to congestion so which can be reduced by moving pushing aggregated data and of course the internet of things right uh, based on big data applications like connected vehicles smart cities wireless sensor network actuator networks uh, uh, and those and etc so these are uh, these are all different app, uh, different uh, what we aspects of or the scenarios of um, uh, internet things which again puts lot of data and uh, in the whole framework and all uh, every time that uh, your this may not be important like uh, that may be a local decision is more important than taking a global decision and type of things and if we look at the applicability there are few here there are 100 more which can be there so smart tri- tricky uh, traffic lighting may be one application connected vehicles uh, smart grids of course sensor network internet of things and software defined network they provide this backbone of this applications to work on right 
So if we look at the connected vehicle deployment de displays reach scenario of connectivity, cut to car, uh, cut to access points and type of things. So what we look at when we when we talk about vehicular infrastructure, we have uh, on the road uh, different uh, moving uh, cars, right? So we uh, uh, so these are different vehicle and of course different uh, infrastructures. So we have connectivity uh, between uh, this vehicle to vehicle or what we say V 2 V or V 2 I, I 2 I. So, these are different infrastructure which are hovering around and giving connectivity to these different vehicles. So, this sort of things are different type of application one is safety related applications, another is say information or infotainment, information related application and uh, there are other things like alerts and other type of things based on the type. So, those are the informations which will be there and in C uh, there may be a uh, overall cloud infrastructure where all could have communicated right. And it takes a decent and sends back information type of things. Now, say there is a crash in this particular uh, particular vehicle, right? If there is a crash, then other vehicles which are approaching this vehicle now get a information via this. Instead, it could have been done locally, right? If I can if I can set up a some sort of a fog around this sort of things, then I could have taken a local decision because the accident here may not be nothing to do with, with some road going somewhere in some cities etcetera right or even in the same city some other part of the thing. Now, here this this type of connected vehicle phenomena or what we say uh, a concept which is uh, coming up uh, or it is already there vanet vehicular ad hoc network right. So, to make it successful this fog may be one of the applications right. So, again smart city lighting as we see that if there is a traffic congestion etcetera that within the thing uh, within that particular localized things uh, situation. So, fog has a number of attributes that make idle platform for connected vehicle in providing services like infotainment, safety, traffic support and analytics like geo distribution, mobility, location awareness, low latency, heterogeneity and so and so forth. So, there is a lot of applications are there. So, like uh, what we see that there are different vehicles running at the back end. So, there are the access point or what we say that infrastructure along or sometimes known as roadside unit or RSUs. So, these units are there, there are other traffic lights. So, based on this congestion etcetera, this traffic light can be intelligent like it, it gives uh, the timing for uh, stop and go type of things may vary based on the congestion level. So, and at the back end we have that uh, cloud which takes larger analytics problems which, are, which requires larger resources and we require a fog orchestration and network management layer which takes care of this synchronization or orchestration of the fog and also orchestration of the, with the back end cloud. So, it is a system. So, what we try to see that this fog take a local decision whereas, larger analytics can be pushed to the cloud environment. right? So, this is one of the scenarios there of course, if we look at a more of a internet of things. So, at the lower end we have embedded systems and sensors then multi service uh, edge uh, which takes that distributed in intelligence where fog can play a ro role and then we have a core network which is which is used to push the things at the upper cloud right. So, this is uh, in generic way of looking at the internet of things where we see that a fog layer may help in reduce latency and providing better services. And uh, uh, though in our country may not be uh, highly uh, proliferated or it is not in a big way used, but it is going to come is that uh, smart grid right. 
so every uh, home will have a smart meter and based on the uh, based on utilization of the things at 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 a uh, from the from the home level uh, to from at the house uh, from unit of the house to as a region level and a larger state level the overall management can be done so i have a smart grid which not only uh, give power to the homes and offices and installations also take a feedback and takes a call based on the things that how the power utilization are there and it is connected to the power plant and the overall power management across the region across the country or across a larger geographical space can be managed by this sort of things. So, here also fog plays an important role if you are looking as a uh, all things can be pushed into the cloud and take a call right. However, suppose I consider IIT Kharagpur if the homes are having smart meters then I could have taken a local decision that what is the overall utilization of the power and uh, type of things and I send a aggregated information to the back end uh, cloud right. So, which takes a more uh, uh, takes up this aggregated information and take do analytics that over the over larger time span or over days, months, etc. how things varies and take a call that what what to provisioning of electricity based on the things. So, this type of things are useful where uh, we have that in devices or in uh, consumer of electricity then we have a fog infrastructure where microgrids and other things are there and then we have a macro station and push it to the larger uh, in uh, sort of a cloud environment. And as we see that uh, all uh, all uh, what we say uh, lucrative or golden side of the fog there are few definitely challenges or there are uh, good amount of challenges in order to have uh, have a realization. First of all these devices are not that resource full as cloud or cloud servers etcetera. So, that can give a, a what we say a support to a minimize things. So, if it is if it is if such application is there which require much larger things. So, you need to divide the application accordingly right. So, it need may be among the fog devices some portion on this fog devices and some of the cloud and whenever we do this there is a lot of need of synchronization orchestration of the things right. Because not only now the data are divided your application or the process is also divided. So, somewhere this uh, aggregation of this data and processes need to be there. So, that is that is one one of the challenges. There are other challenges of the resource management in the fog itself like right? suppose uh, if one of the fog device is overloaded whether I can migrate this application on the things whether I migrate this on the life like uh, uh, executing things can be migrated to the things. So, these are serious challenges if we, if we need to look at the things. So, let us see some of the things. So, fog computing system suffers from issue of proper resource allocation among applications while ensuring end to end latency of the services right. So, what we want to do that end to end latency and challenges are faced resource management of the fog computing network has to be addressed uh, so that the system throughput increases ensuring high availability as well as scalability. So, the basic phenomenon of the fog and finally, as as these are distributed over different geographical space may be at with different authorities then what about the security of this application and data and type of things whether that becomes a source for things. So, security aspects we discussed last uh, last lecture or last discussion on fog that this is this is a serious challenge. So, resource management in fog network so has different aspect the utilization of idle fog nodes for better throughput whether there is possible that some some of the fog nodes it is basically skewed some nodes are more loaded than others. More parallel operations how to generate more parallel operations handling load balancing meeting the delay requirements of real time applications right. Uh, so, if you have a real time applications how it can be provisions properly provisioning crash fault tolerant and type of things right. Like I can say that if the fog node goes down what will happen to those applications and data and which are running on that fog nodes how to handle those how to migrate those uh, data whether I require a, a priori replication that even if it goes down the other will take up and all those things require a resource management and incurs cost and so on and so forth. 
more scalable system. So, at the scalability is our core of the whole thing, right? Scalability is one of the major aspects of cloud vis a vis fog uh, computing. So, how to uh, have better scalable systems? So, they are uh, if we look at little more nitty gritty data may not be available at the executing fog node. So, if the application is there the node may not be there therefore, data fetching is needed from the required sensor or data source. So, there is a fetch cycle is there executing node might become unresponsive due to heavy workload which compromises of the latency there may be a issue choosing a new node in case of a microservice execution. Uh, migration so that the response time gets reduced even if I have a way of migration if I am a microservice is running on a particular node or a smaller or cut down version of the service or chopped service or a partition service is running if I am if even uh, if I am if I am able to migrate that I see that this node is going down what should be where I should migrate how to find a node at a thing. So, some algorithm should run and type of things and some sort of a management should come into play. Due to unavailability of executing node, there is a need to migrate partially processed persistent data to a new node. So, it is half cup thing need to be migrated. So, that is another need. Uh, final result has to be transferred to the client or actuator within less uh, amount of time. In order in doing so, I should not lose out on the time. Deploying an application components in different fog nodes ensuring latency requirements of the components. Multiple application may co-locate in the same fog node, right? Therefore, the data of one application may get compromised by the other. So, it may happen that number of application more than one application in the same fog node. Data security and integrity of individual application and resource application has to be ensured, right? So, what we look at the uh, multi-tenancy problem in the cloud, that type of sort of problem can be there in the fog, and fog is less resource uh, full, so that may the problem may be more uh, escalated. And there are several approaches people try to follow like uh, executing migration or the nearest node which is available uh, or to the thing. So, the nearest node which is free it may not be the uh, most suitable, but the um, available node type of things. Minimizing carbon footprint of video thing my major objective is that to reduce that energy or carbon footprint. Emphasis on resource prediction whether I can have a the approaches prediction, resource estimation, reservation. Uh, advanced reservation as well as pricing of the new IoT application. So, that we can do a, a priori estimation of the things. There is another services which we say Docker as an edge computing platform uh, to deploying Docker may facilitate fast deployment, uh, elasticity, good performance. So, resource, there are resource management based on uh, fluctuating relinquish probability of the customer, price, resource prices, etcetera, people follow that. There are other things like studying that base station association, task distribution, virtual machine placement and so on and so forth and uh, formulating ILP uh, formulation to optimize the thing or uh, applying heuristics uh, algorithm to uh, approach that problem. So, these are the different type of approaches which people are uh, trying to do and uh, you can see these are there are lot of research motivation here right. There is a there is a there are a lot of uh, research going on and those who are interested this is a this is a uh, field where uh, which can be looked into or you can work on those uh, type of aspects this is a uh, ongoing rather upcoming area to look at. And uh, security issues already we have discussed I am not repeating that. So, security what we try to emphasize here security is also a major challenge right because low resource you cannot run uh, say resourceful or what we say resource hungry security uh, applications what we say which uh, or security measures which are resource hungry. So, you need to be uh, need to be appropriately sized to this fog type of fog devices to run on. So, security is also a major issue it is not only that the data can be compromised the fog these devices may be a platform to uh, simulate uh, to simulate or launch attacks right. So, near because it is uh, distributed now things are distributed less control over this uh, centralized cloud and the uh, ISP. So, there is a there is a chance of uh, this being exploited. 
so need to be looked into things are there how secured or how robust this fog devices are also a major challenge people are working on that with this we let us stop today so what we discuss that that uh, this the importance of fog amalgamation of the fog and cloud that is it is not like that uh, a throughout throughout one of the technology things are there rather proper synchronization and orchestration between them is the is the real way to have a successful implementation of this framework thank you